What's good, YouTube? Runaway 1980. Um, back with another uh, pickup comparison vid. Uh, first off, I want to thank you all for the kind words you had um, for my My Story video. I appreciate that. Um, I appreciate your support. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys seem to um, seem to can relate to my story, and um, it just feels great to know that I'm not alone in in my feelings. You know what I'm saying? And um, I do appreciate that, man. I mean, to all of you, actually. Uh, I do hope that um, that my story can touch some people and that, that they can relate to it and find some comfort in it. You know what I'm saying? But um, with that said, um, I'll go ahead and get into this. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, one of these are uh, official. One of these are not. Um, trained eye immediately sees. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, labels may not zoom. Both say Air Jordan 4 Retro. Both have a suggested retail price of 160 Differences is the UPC is different and the sizing looks different. This is from my recent pickup for myself, my Toro 4s. come at the front view first and here is green glow fours same kind of paper same kind of box everything seems to be the same so far do the similarities in there okay like I said these have been worn once relaced tongue pulled up these are unworn never taken out of the box actually till now um, first thing I look at uh, I noticed that they pretty much they pretty much they look the same you know let's see back view side by side okay here we go the um, this is a super perfect by the way uh, it seems that uh, this one is more narrow, whereas in this one's a little wider. Um, Jumpmans are the same. Stitching's pretty much the same. The sole, same. Uh, coming up here to the top, the tongues, same. That thin yet not cheap tongue, you know, feels the same. This may be a little more plush, whereas in this is more, it's thin, you know. It seems to be some kind of, but I mean, they look, they look the same. But you would have to feel it to see what I'm saying. Um, this, this feels like I thought this was going to feel when I grabbed it, but this is more a little more thick. And that could be a material thing, you know. But then again, this is like a, like a, a rough feeling new buck. Whereas then this is a smooth feeling new buck, you know? Um, the wings, kind of rubbery, the wings on this. Feels a little more stiff, more edged. This is more rounded, I guess. But um, overall feeling the same. I hope I, I didn't mean to be all up in there like that, guys. But I'm um, <clears throat> trying to do my best to look at these as in, in the same light you know um size tag the same on the inside this one's on the inside because i mean they're left and right shoe you know what i'm saying but um okay see here we go here's where we differ right here like i said then again this is new never it's got, okay, it's got paper in here pushing up on it. Let me, let me fix that. There you go. Toe box is pretty much the same. The little waffle cones. Same. Because the, the shoe is pretty much the same. I mean, and I think a lot of it has to do with 
there's no real technology in this shoe, like as far as today's standards go. I mean, it's nothing to recreate this shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, pretty much to recreate this shoe, all I gotta do is try. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like trying to make a foam posit or something. So, I mean, I'm not surprised anymore when I see some of the things I've seen as of recent super perfects or the authentics that come off of that site. I don't. Like I mean, let's let's be under let's understand something. Authentic that comes off of that site is not authentic. I mean, authentic is store release, yada yada, all that third receipt and whole nine. When you do a yeah, that tongue there right here. This is more prominent than this. See how it is? I do notice that being a difference. But um, but even though even though the authentic ones authentic ones look identical. And everything they are, makeup, model, whatever, to the authentic store release, it's still not, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like back when I was young, I used to see see kit cars. I used to see kit cars. Um, I'll just show this shoe for the remainder. I used to see kit cars uh, for Lamborghinis and whatnot. Yeah, they look the same, you know what I mean? But the motors weren't right. You know, I guess that's a bad analogy because the... The tech in the authentic versions of these they sell on the site is the same tech as the store release. Only difference is one's licensed and one's not. I guess that's that. Basically, that's the main difference. One's licensed, one isn't. So um, take that what you want, you know. But uh, compare. I've seen these authentic, and there's another. Um, there's another one I'll show you soon. Uh, a cab for. That I've seen those also, and they look I next to the other one. They look identical. They really do. You know what I'm saying? And they feel identical. But um, you guys have seen these before. It's already a seven-minute vid. I won't keep you too long. I do appreciate you guys and everything you do. You guys know that. Um, thanks again to everyone that that uh that came in for the for the um my story video oh also they have on that site um, they have these diamond supply shirts these are made for Tiffany's but the color is off so the color goes with the green glows actually it's um I'll show this in another video but I'll just give you an idea now it's uh, what's her name um, Cassie but uh, it's a diamond supply shirt like I said I'll pull it out in another video and show you but it more or less goes with the green gloves and not Tiffany dunks. But then again, that could be me looking through the bag. When we see it again, we'll know for sure. Running Wolf 1980. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks a lot. Peace, guys. God bless.